know, I've got two of the G brothers over here, Tiger. We're getting ready to get in the water to see if we can drown some worms, catch some fish. Um, hopefully not drown some fish and catch worms. So we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna set some lines with catfish later on. The water looks pretty good. And we'll be back at you to see what we got. Well, we're going to get rid of Gentry here in just a moment. We're going to maroon him on this little island. So, we got Grant doing some fishing here. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to the island. Grant's doing a little squirrel hunt here. Oh yeah. All right, go to that little island there. Come on, Gentry, row, row, row your boat, man. Come on. That's gonna be your new home. Alright, young man. Go ahead and get out on your island. Well, I love you. Bye. Boy, there. What do you call that place? Gentry's Island. Gentry's Island, okay. We're gonna come and pick you up, okay, sir? Okay. Maybe getting the first bite of the evening. We're not sure. What do you think, Gentry? Think it is? <laughs> what do you think it is? Um, alligator gar. An alligator gar. Ooh, goodness. I think it's a simple what we call a, a, a thief. I think it is. I shall reel it in to see if it. You shall reel it in. Also known as a thief. <laughs> no bait. He's... You go, what? It's a keeper. Oh my goodness. That's what I need. It just keeps eating worms on thing it's keeping. Big fat beef is probably a cat. If he runs with it, that's good. That's real good. Can pull it. Set the hook. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was There's serious. the robber. Oh. I had you to for a while. thief. You big thief. Okay, we're keeping you for a minute. We have to keep you for a while in this bucket, maybe. Uh, he's a teeny one. Yeah, he is. Boy, he's going to taste good. I won't even take the scales. Can we eat him? Mm, no. Let's Just put him in the bucket, though. No, let's not count how many now. fish we get. No, well, can you count that one? No. One. <laughs> All right. Hold him up here so I can get a photo. What a beauty. <laughs> Look at me now. Man, that's a beast, Gentry. Um, All right, let's get him back to his home sweet home. All right, go ahead and put him in the water here. Dun, dun, dun. He's there. Till next time. We're moving into one of our lines and something is on it. Quite large, it seems like it's been flopping out of the water like crazy. Daddy, you remember? <laughs> I saw it. It's, that's a catfish for sure. So? Yep, I saw, I, see. It. I saw it. I saw it. See it? You can see it. Look at that. Awesome. Look at that. Guys, that line has been in the water, what a grand total of five minutes. Check out that blue cat. How awesome. Hold on, let's get him on the line first. Check him out. Blue. Yes, sir. Blue cat. That's a blue cat. Oh, wow. Fellas, five minutes in the water. 
Keeper? Oh, that's a keeper. That's a keeper for sure. That's a There's our big blue. First one of the season. First one of the day. Line was in the water a whole five minutes maybe. And look what a catch. He's a beauty. We're putting some luscious, delectable beef litter on here. Just took one catfish off. We're going to set this baby again. We're going to leave these lines to eat, and as we fish, we'll keep revisiting them, and in the morning, we'll come back and check them again, because we'll fish till dark here, and we're going to come back and check them, we'll rebait them every time they run out, and we'll keep on, we're going to take a boatload of fish home with us tonight. Awesome. Check it out. Well, we have set all of our lines, marked them all with the pretty pink ribbons, and we're going to take our time and fish up through here. I got my trusty boat motor working really nicely. That gentry, he's keeping an eye out for crocodiles, hippos, and other boat wrecking creatures. And we're just watching for our little pink ribbons to dance, boys. We've already got one nice Ooh, fish. Boy. Uh, boys, no, I got boys. boys. He's the motor. I got this I'm big fish boy. here already. He's we're after motor. some more. He's the motor. I'm okay. the boy. She's dancing. I think it's a turtle actually. Oh my gosh. I've never seen oh. it. Here you go. There is a soft shell turtle. Check him out. Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Well, fellas, you never know what you're going to do. Wait, can I catch it? Get away before it eats the catfish. Wait, they eat the catfish. Ah. They eat catfish. Night is almost upon us. We're Can we go back? cruising right back down toward our lines. We've only got the one big cat and great big turtle. They smell like death. And so. We're gonna head back toward the truck. We'll just check these lines as we go past. Again, that's uh, having the pink ribbon on there really makes them show up. I mean, I don't know if it's visible on the video, but you can see it down probably about 30 yards. Are we gonna check that one? No, we we just now did. It was about five minutes ago we checked them. We are absolutely completely out of bait. So now is a good time for us just to leave the lines. And see what happens. Pretty awesome way to spend our time, guys. Pretty awesome. Morning has come. We have returned back to Tiger to okay, see if we can. Check our lines and maybe take home a few more fish. Good. Brought the other two G brothers with me and they're trying to get themselves lined out on the paddling orders here. And 
we can see one line is dancing pretty hard right now. I see one hanging straight down. I see another one that's going crazy, Daddy. I think. Well, let's get up there to it. We can't get to it with no paddle in the water, Garrison. Come on now. Let's get up there and see why this thing's dancing. Might be a turtle, might be a fish. Might be a turtle fish. I knew it would happen. Gatlin could not stand it any longer. <laughs> he has hit the water. He's like a water dog, man. If there's water, he wants in it. Oh my gosh. No fear. How's the water, Gatlin? Huh? How's the water? Feels good. Feels good? Daddy, is there a big drop off right here? I'm not sure. Huh? Now there's only one way to find out. Yes. I'm not walking through you. Dead fish. It's big, it's big, it's big. Oh, uh, big. Oh my goodness. Don't hang it over the side of the boat, boys. It we'll turn this thing big. over. <laughs> Oh, we well, have a little red eared sunfish. Yeah. Isn't that a beauty? Oh my golly. They really are just tropical. They don't look like they fit in here in Kentucky, but they are beautiful. Quit if you want to die. You don't quit? Okay. I can't get the hook out. I think I got you. Got the hook out? Right, let's see what we got. The beast. The beast. Look what a beauty. That's beast. pretty cool though. Caught those little riverbank worms. And the big riverbank worms. Gallon, release the beast. There you go. Ah! <laughs> it's going to flip the boat. Yeah, yeah. It, it hits the water daddy and just... Right. Let him go. Bye-bye, buddy. Whoa. Pretty awesome.
getting to the end of a really, really cool evening and morning fishing. And we brought home three of these nice big cats. Got one last night, two again today. And I'm telling you what, uh, you don't get much better than that, guys. I'm telling you, that is that's awesome members. It's probably about 20, 21 inch catfish. One last night was 20, uh, 21 inches. And we caught these just using beef liver, tying around those lines and marking the lines with those uh, orange ribbons. And man, they were dancing this morning. Caught a few little pan fish, just had fun. Found some rodeo worms. Saw an eagle. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. pretty cool. Saw a bald eagle fly over. And, uh, just glad it didn't take Gatlin out of the boat. It'd have been a shame. All right, fellas, let's head home, show them our catch. And again, G Brothers Outdoors, we're always outdoors doing something. This is uh, another fine edition of it. Till next time.